There are more calls for Governor Cuomo to step down after new allegations that rise from sexual harassment to potentially sexual assault. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. Hello again, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. The latest allegation now against the governor has also been turned over to City of Albany Police. It has been a very busy day full of developments today, including some breaking news on the investigation. We're going to get the latest from Channel 2's Dave McKinley. He's live in downtown Buffalo for us. Dave. Well, Scott, according to the governor's chief counsel, it was her office who alerted local police of these allegations because under state law, if a state employee makes such an allegation against her superior but does not file a complaint with local police themselves, then the state must let local police know about it. A female aide to Governor Cuomo claims that last year inside the governor's mansion, Cuomo groped her in a sexually charged manner. According to the Albany Times Union, which broke the story, she kept it a secret, but when she saw the governor on March 3rd addressing the first of now several sexual harassment complaints against him and insisting he never touched anyone, she got visibly upset and informed an executive staff member of what had allegedly occurred. After that story broke last night, the governor issued a statement denying this. But but by this morning, about 60 state lawmakers who are Democrats signed a letter calling for the governor to resign. One Democratic senator said that while the allegations of harassing behavior were troubling enough, the allegation of groping was frankly for her the last straw. 40 of those who signed are members of the state assembly. That's significant because if you combine their numbers with minority Republicans, they'd have enough votes to impeach the governor should he not step down. The assembly did meet for more than an hour today and talked a lot about the legacy of Harriet Tubman and the importance of maple syrup, but not a word about the governor. The matter did come up, though, on the floor of the state Senate. An allegation of not sexual harassment, but sexual assault. The assembly instead took up the matter behind closed doors, prior to which Assembly Speaker Carl Heasty confirmed in a statement that in light of the allegations concerning the governor over the last several weeks, I will be meeting with members in conference on potential paths forward. And we now know what that path forward is apparently going to be because just moments ago, an email was sent by the office of the State Assembly Speaker Carl Heasty. It is uh, just out, and I'll have to read a portion of it to you now. Uh, after meeting with the Assembly Majority Conference, uh, Speaker Heasty says he is authorizing the Assembly Ju Judiciary Committee to begin an impeachment investigation uh, to examine allegations of misconduct against Governor Cuomo. It goes on to say that the inquiry will not interfere with the independent investigation being conducted by State Attorney General Letitia James. In the meantime, the State Democratic Party chairman also weighed in today. He is a Cuomo appointee. He stopped short of calling for the governor's resignation, but did indicate that he will be meeting with various Democratic Party county chairmen from across the state to gauge their feelings on this unfolding matter. Reporting live in downtown Buffalo, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.